All right, welcome back to Plain Simple Projects. We're gonna do this backup or parking sensor installation on this vehicle. And we've opened up the back trunk where we can see the spare tire. You can see I've actually put down some some noise canceling uh, matting here. That's what this is. So for those who are interested, that's what that is. That was a previous project uh, I did prior to YouTubing. So anyway, that would have been fun for you all to see, but that's already been done. So. What we need to do now is we need to open up basically these side panels. We have to identify how to get our sensor from the back side of this bumper up into this uh, trunk and then into the back of the vehicle where we can put our, uh, our instrument in. In addition to that, we have to find ourselves a 12 volt wire that we can plug into, we can splice into and use that power to power the instrument. So we're going to get started. I'll put it on time lapse to be able to see how this uh, kind of progresses along. All right, pretty hard to show this on a time lapse, but I want to kind of show you down underneath this. You can kind of see the wires are coming out here. Try to get better lighting for it. And um, you can kind of see how they, they come up through the top here. This is the this is the um, top here. That's the exhaust mount. Anyway, it's up in here. This is where the wires are. Anyway. Um, you can kind of see through there that way. That's what they're passing through is that area there between the bumper and the frame. So I'm running it up on top, top there, just over there. And I'll continue across the side to this side here. And then there's a access uh, hole into the trunk from the side over there. We'll do that here in a second. All right, so I'll just give me an update here. Got this, uh, basically these sensors put in here. They're looking good, I like that so far. So is this one, these all look good. So that's where we want them to be. Okay, we ran them through the bottom, pulled them up to the top. Here's our access panel right here. Took it through here and then uh, ran it up through here. I tied it to the uh, cable so it kind of stays away from stuff and doesn't get pulled back down in there. So the idea is I want to keep it up in the uh, in the actual uh, compartment up here. I don't want anything to get loud. I don't want it to shake its way down in, into the uh, bottom part of the, the bumper. So that should hold it there in place. The other thing is I don't want it to rub against the edges of this uh, this frame. You know, that could cause it to, to get cut. You know, it would be bad over time. So uh, we've got these uh, four wires now. You can see that they're not all the same size, all the same size because they're at different locations on the bumper. And you can see here where I've put together uh, the, uh, I was able to find a hot wire that was hot uh, with the engine in the, in the accessory position. I went ahead and uh, spliced those. It's not a perfect splice. I'm sure there's plenty of viewers who would disagree with how I did that. I just didn't have any splices available. So I went ahead and uh, put them together I and then soldered them together and then I ran electrical trip across that uh, connection. So it should be tight. Worst thing is I lose a connection uh, on that and then uh, it, it basically would 
uh, stop working. So anyway, that's pretty much it. We'll start putting it back together.